Hi everybody, and welcome back. So I've got another little workbench update. And uh, this week I'm gonna show off the um, 200 millimeter or one ninth scale uh, figure from uh, Chimera Models of Dominia. And uh, so um, I was able to get uh, the skin tones put down onto the figure and the hair and the uh, mask that she's wearing done. So I just thought I'd show those off to you and show you what I've done so far. So this should be a really quick video. And uh, here we go. So, <clears throat> I'll hold this up here like this so I don't drop it. So here she is. I've gotten the skin tones done. Painted the mask red with some black accents. And I'll probably end up doing the same color reds on the corset here. And do um, either black or maybe blue accents on some of the fabric here. I'm not entirely sure yet what I'll do with that. But here's the, the arm. The hair. On her back, you'll notice the back's a little bit different color. Same thing with her arm, and mostly because that's gonna end up being in shadow uh, because of her hat. So what I'm also doing is, so for the most part, when you're looking at the figure, uh, the point of light will be coming down this way at her. Uh, so her back shouldn't be that bright. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've done so far. And same thing with her arm he here, where's my finger? There it is. Um, her arm here is going to be covered by these feathers, which obviously I haven't painted yet, but they'll go in the back and you'll, her whole arm will end up disappearing. So the coloring on the arm is just essentially an accent right, to show you that it was painted. And the same thing with the hat. Once the hat goes on her, most of her hair will be visible, but it's nowhere near as bright as front. Even most of her face, the top, most of her face is going to be covered. So that's why it appears a little bit darker than the rest. So, and then we'll figure out how, what well, I'm going to paint the rest of the clothing. And then I have essentially what I feel is this here is all going to be like raw iron. Like she's sitting or leaning against a uh, fence, raw iron post or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So it'll be that. But yeah, so there we go. Um, I did, for the first time, I decided to try to do uh, freckles. And uh, I did a majority of this with the airbrush. Except for the hair. The hair was all painted with a, with a brush and the mask was also painted with a brush. But most of the skin was painted with an airbrush and then... When I got up to the point where I was going to start putting in some of the deeper shadows and things like that, I ended up using a glazing technique to put in those. And the same thing with the highlights were also done with glazing. So very, very thin uh, paint applied several times over the areas that I wanted to. That way the lower details could show through like the freckles and all that kind of stuff come through uh, because I wanted that to be a uh, part of the piece itself. So that's what I have. That's what I've got for this week. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. I did pick up some new uh, stash ads and maybe I'll do a video for that um, this coming weekend or something. Um, 
I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers who I've picked up over the last uh, week or so. Thank you very much. And thank you to everybody who has stuck with this channel for a very long time. I do appreciate that. And um, I hope everybody has a safe and wonderful weekend. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.